Hey everyone, Mango7 will here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today we're going to do a throwback video. This is a, a follow-up from my Christmas um, wish list for Moonlight and Normal Summons. I'm going to go through my ordering before Christmas uh, and my ordering like two months later on who I'm interested in. And just to note before anybody gets very angry at me, this is not a who's better list or anything like that. This is a, my monitor turned off, that's kind of weird. This is a who Mango wants the most sort of thing. So this was my previous list. Um, just to go through really quickly, I wanted Haste because of Wyvern 10. I wanted Sigrid because Waifu and Wyvern 10. I wanted Chloe because of Waifu and Wyvern 10. I wanted Iceria just because of primarily Waifu. Uh, you're going to hear that a lot. Basara, same thing, Super Husbando, and I thought he'd be pretty good for late game PvP. And the rest, I just honestly wasn't too interested in. Um, I really liked Bildred and Charlotte, and I wanted to use them, but they weren't really somebody too high on my list. Um, and as for Moonlight here, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of these ones. So the green ones are obviously the ones we got. I wanted Crimson Armin the most because her skill animation is so cool. And I think the fact that she likes to buy earrings and that's why she has to um, do all these missions is amazing. I wanted Seedom for Seedom reasons. I wanted Guider Aether and like after I made the video, I really wanted to put Aether in first place because Aether was just the greatest. Definitely number one favorite unit right now in the game um, outside of Araminta. Uh, I wanted Akades just because she is amazing looking and her design is great. I like her a little less now after her story um, until we see more of her and see why she's like why she is. Uh, and I'm sure there's a reason. Um, uh, she kind of fell down a little bit, spoiler alert. Shadow Rose, just because of how good she was, in all honesty, she wasn't my favorite visually. Uh, I kind of like regular Rose better. Um, and then the rest were just kind of sorted anywhere. Cartuja was not my favorite um, just because of his design, but now after listening to his voice lines and everything, I do really like his style. Um, and Fighter Maya and Wanderer Silk were just kind of on the bottom because I wasn't sure where I'd use them and why I would uh, why I would put them ahead of somebody else. And then, of course, for the ML5 stars, we've got Chloe, Kise, Ruel. That was a tough top three. Um, I think it's pretty obvious for me Spectre's Denebria was the fourth, only because I love all of their designs so much, and she was the least useful that I could think of. So that's why she was fourth. Then I wanted Vildred next, Ken next, and then Corvus next. And of course, as I say, not a ranking of how good things are, because obviously... Uh, Ken is not six out of the seventh ML unit, so keep that in mind. My monitor turned off again. That's super weird. Um, I can't have three monitors die in two months, can I? Uh, so next up here, we're just going to go through the list one by one and talk about which my new order is now. And hopefully you guys can make some guesses on what they might look like. Uh, so pause the video right now. I'll, I'll throw the, show these to you really quick. And take a guess at what my ordering changed to from before. Uh, just pause the video, put it out in the comments, and um, we'll see who gets the closest. So let's talk about normal first. And we're going to go uh, from least wanted to most wanted. And I'm going to speed through some of the least wanted because, in all honesty, um, there's no reason to talk about them too much. So in 13th place, uh, he was second last before, is Kron. Um, I really don't like Kron. I don't like his skill set. He uh, doesn't work well with Meg Chloe. I have him on my alt and I don't even want to use him there. So he's definitely last on the list. Um, plus his little tail thing kind of bothers me the way it's set up. It's just kind of weird. Um, his armor looks too aggressive to be purple. Just so many things are wrong with him that I'm not a fan. Um, next up is Bale and Sazan. So I wanted Bale and Sazan. He was um, fifth uh, away from the top before. But I'm finding less of a use for him now. Um, maybe he ends up being good, but my focus has shifted a lot towards PvP lately. And I feel like I just don't have a place for him, especially when I have Araminta and I'd rather use her. I'm not saying Araminta is better. I'm just saying I would rather use Araminta. Um, that said, I think he has great potential for maybe Golems 11, but I also feel like I just don't need him there. So i um, not really sure what to think of him. But he's down there for now. I would be okay getting him, and I do like him more than I liked him at the beginning of the game. But it is what it is. Uh, next up is another fire unit, and that is Ravi. Um, Ravi's one of those ones I think got better recently. Uh, I cannot find her. 
Um, I think she got better recently with the introduction of Guild Wars because she's just a solid unit to use for Guild Wars. So maybe she should have been higher on the list. But uh, for now, she's just kind of sitting there because I don't feel like I would use her too much. But as I talk about Guild Wars, I feel like she's just so good for that. It might be worth it. Uh, and I'm definitely speeding through all the ones, but like the top five, just to let you guys know where we're sitting. Uh, I'll have a list on the screen after too, so you can take a look at it from start to finish. Uh, next up is, surprise, surprise, another fire unit. There are so many fire units on this list. And it's not, uh, it's not Ken. It's Tenebria. So I don't know why I want Tenebria less than Ken. Uh, I think it's just because I want Spectre Tenebria more, even though I love her little... Um, outfit here uh but i just like i don't know whenever i think fire mage i think i'm gonna use araminta and nobody else so i have a hard time figuring out where i would put somebody like tenebria i definitely try to use her and i feel like she'd be fantastic for guild wars but i i just cannot find a place to realistically use her so uh I, i'd rather use araminta and next up another fire unit i did not plan this i just noticed now that all the fire units were at the end but you guessed it, it is Ken. Um, Ken actually jumped a lot of spots on my list just because he is so good now. He actually uh, jumped down a bit because of the way Wyvern 11 is now. But with Hazel and with so many other things and uh, um, with Guild Wars and everything, he just super jumps up and he's probably way better than a lot of other people on this list. So uh, even with his design, me disliking it so much and feeling like it's not similar to the game style i am uh okay to get him if he does come in the future uh so that was nine next up we are out of the fire units we're out of the fire units, so we are going to go to number eight and that is ludwig and his voice just oh my god i, I can't stand this little stupid guy's voice and his little stupid face but it is what it is and we have to deal with his face um but i do like him in pvp and i think he is Awesome. And if you haven't seen YDCP use Ludwig, you need to go check him out because it's insane. If I had somebody like Crimson Armin or I had a Cadiz built or something like that, I would definitely uh, actively use Ludwig and he would be higher on this list. But for now, without accessible accessibility to those options, I just don't want to do it. And after Ludwig, we're getting into the juicy ones now. This might surprise a lot of people, but it's another fire unit. It's haste. Um, Haste was number one on my list before, so he dropped more than any other unit. He dropped down six places from first to seventh. And the reason is because, um, uh, I just don't need him anymore. Uh, I don't really want to use him in Wyvern 11 anymore because of the element change. Uh, I could use him for Golem 11, but is there really a reason to actively be doing Golem 11? Um, and I don't really need him anywhere else. That said, his voice actress should push it up more and make me want to use it more because um, Abby Trot is amazing. So maybe that would make me happier using and knowing that Abby Trot is the voice there. But that said, um, I just don't really have an interest in him right now and I want my Abyss set pieces elsewhere. So I just couldn't fit him in in my head, which is why he's so far down. Um, and next up is Bassar. I've been a huge fan of Bazaar since day one, uh, and I really wish I got him. Um, I really like any sort of debuff removal, especially when you add Unable to be buffed. And I think he's just a solid unit to stall in Guild Wars. Like, you bring him in with uh, a healer and another support healer. And uh, I think it's an awesome three-person team to slowly whittle down the enemy team. And I would really, really, really like to use him there. I think he wouldn't require the best of gear either, which is great, because you don't really expect him to do a ton of damage. You just kind of need him fast, I think, at least theoretically in my head. Um, so next up is five, and that is Chloe. Um, Chloe's one of those ones where I really want to fit her in all of my Wyvern 11 teams, but it's hard to out DPS Kisei, and it's hard if you don't bring defense break. So... Uh, I have a really, really, really difficult time getting Chloe into any Wyvern 11 teams while also having Defense Break, which is why she's not number one on my list. Um, Looks-wise and design-wise, she's some of my favorite, and I just love her to death. I use her everywhere on my alt, and um, I just super love her. But that said, I don't think she's going to be fantastic for Guild Wars, which is, again, why she's a little further down the list. 
Ooh, next up is another water unit. Uh, these two definitely dropped, and that is Sigrid. And the literal exact same thing I just said with um, with Chloe there is Sigrid feels like she just uh, has a harder place with Kisei because Kisei is just too good for Wyvern, and that's kind of where Sigrid's specialty is. Uh, I do really want her for PvP, though, and I think she does go further than Chloe in PvP. So I would definitely use her, and I would have a blast, and I'd feed her all my Mol Molagor and be really happy about it. But because it's so hard to fit a Defense Breaker and Kisei and another DPS into Wyvern 11, um, she's definitely down just a little bit. Holy, this is going to be a long video of Mango talking. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, let me know if you enjoy stuff like this, where you just hear me talk and kind of watch a little bit. Number three on the list, surprising literally everyone. And number three and number two are very much tied. Uh, I couldn't decide who to put where. Number three, Tywin. Um, so Tywin was 10th on my list before. Uh, I've always loved Tywin. I like his design. I like his hair. I like his armor. I like his sword. I like his emblem. I love everything about him. His voice is great too. I love his command. I love his charm. I love everything about him. But uh, his skill set had never really made me happy. Uh, but now with Guild Wars, I think it does. I think he's fantastic for Guild Wars offense. Um, I'm not sure about defense, but I think he's at least fantastic for offense. And also, it's really funny because for three days or something like that, I was so stoked to use knights. And knights were great again. And then they released Idols Cheer. And you're like, well, maybe I don't want to tank with my knight anymore. Maybe I want to tank with my Angelica. So... Um, Prior to Idol's Cheer coming out, Tywin probably would have been tied in number one for most wanted unit. Because now you take away the want to use him in Wyvern 11 because of Idol's Cheer, assuming if you have it. Uh, so you can probably guess who number two is, and that is Krow. Uh, Krow was placed eighth for me before. Um, I love his character. His character is so well done. If you haven't read the story, you don't know what I'm talking about. Krau is literally the best. Plus, GM Krau is a big jerk face um, who trolls my stream all the time. Uh, love his design. Love everything about him. Insane for Guild Wars. Like, probably one of the best units in the game for Guild Wars defense. Insane for Guild Wars offense. Well, insane for PvP. Insane for PvE. Insane for Wyvern 11. Just such an insane unit. Everything about him is just ridiculous, uh, which is why he's there. Number one. Did anybody guess Isaria? Because that is my number one right now. Um, she has been ultra super adorable waifu for me since basically the start. I shouldn't call this many people waifu, but there's different scales of waifu, okay? So give me a break. Um, she was number four before. She's number one now, especially with the fact that I have Tamarin now, and I would like to use them both together. Um, also, I like her defense break, I like her buff stripping, I like her for PvP, I like her for PvE, I like her for long battles, I like her for literally everything, and she's just build enabling. And the longer the game goes on, the better she gets. Every single patch that comes out, Isaria gets better for the most part. Uh, because the better other units get, the better Isaria gets. So, for example, um, Isaria plus Tamarin, Instantly makes Isaria better. Instantly makes Tamarin better. Uh, when you get somebody else with an insane third skill, something like um, a Lucian or something like that, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just pretend I didn't say that. Uh, when something comes out like that, you just get double um, double hand magic. Ignore me if you don't know what I'm talking about. But she is going to be insane for a long time. So I'm just really excited to eventually get her. I love her little pouty face. Um, I love the name Knight of White Flowers. Like, I don't know. She's she's super amazing, and I really, really, really enjoyed her story. Uh, okay, on to the juicy bits. Um, I guess I'll put this up here really quickly for you guys so I can sort this by number. Okay, just to show you here, uh, my order, Isaria, Kraut, Tywin, Sigrid, Chloe, Bassar, Haste, Ludwig, Ken, Tenebriot, Ravi, Bale, and Cezanne, and Kron. So um, you can see how many you got wrong or how many got right. No cheating. Uh, I expect zero cheating to be had here. And next up, we are doing the Moonlights. This is going to be faster because I actually have so 
many of the Moonlight heroes now. It's insane. So number seven on the list is going to be... Um, let's go by here. Is going to be Assassin Sid. Um, I'm just not a fan of this guy whatsoever. I'm kind of pissed off he doesn't have his animal. Um, his little squirrel. And just without a squirrel, I just am not a fan. As I say that, I think it's really cool that it looks like he's got sliced by some sort of animal there on his chest. Uh, I do really like that. That's a really cool little addition to his character. But where's his buddy, you know? Like, I just want to see his buddy. And I don't even care what his skill set does. Without his buddy, he's just less of a Sid to me. Um, that said, I feel like he's got use somewhere with uh, having poison here and having um, silence and stuff like that. But I'm just not a cool... He's not a cool dude with me right now. So next up is BBK. Um, BBK is here because I think I like regular Karin just so much better. Uh, and I don't want to super invest in her. And she feels like she needs lots of investment. And she also like wrecks all the accounts. Like she is the wrecker of accounts because everybody who gets BBK just loves her to death. And I can see why. Like her design is flawless. Like her everything, her, her sword that takes over is just insane. Everything about her is great. That said, I feel like I just don't have a spot for her right now. And number five. Number five that I don't have here is a light unit, which means it is Shuri. Um, Shuri is somebody I will want the further I get into the game. Um, right now, not as good, but he's just so good. Anything that penetrates defense, defense, penetrates defense, is... Uh, absolutely amazing and always will be for the most part as long as their multipliers aren't terrible. Um, Penetrates defense is just such a good stat and um, that's enough to one-shot things so that's why I would use Shuri here but I don't really feel like I need him now. Uh, and next up is number four, Shooting Star Akades. So Shooting Star Akades was number four on my list last time and she's number four on my list this time. Um, pretty, pretty cool looking. Not as happy with her after the story, although she was kind of cool. If you haven't seen the story out right now as we speak, uh, with Tamarin. Uh, I do want to use her for her set, and I think her skill set is one of the most fun. Um, but the ones ahead of her are just so hard to beat that I had to put her down just a little, little, little bit here. Number three. Number three is Shadow Rose. So... Shadow Rose is here because I honestly like regular Rose better. I like her design better. But um, Shadow Rose is obviously insane and one of the best units in the game right now. But I feel like I just don't want to build her. Um, even though I really should. That said, she is super, 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 super easy to gear. And you don't even really have to give her too much stuff to make her worthwhile. So maybe that's a reason to build her. But for now, she sits strong at number three, and she was number five last time, so she's one of the few that moved up. And number two, this might surprise a bunch of people. Um, I'm actually wanting to put this one at number one instead of number one uh, instead of number two, but I'm going to keep her at number two. But that is Fighter Maya. Um, I really want Fighter Maya. I have just like a beast of a defense set with crit damage and crit rate and everything, and I really want to bash people with somebody. Um, I've been using it on Kickerat on my defense, and he's kicking butt. Um, and I really want to put it on somebody actually good. And I think Fighter Maya is just in a fantastic spot right now, especially for Guild Wars and Guild Wars defense and Guild Wars offense. Um, and also, she is voiced by Sumali Montana, which is the same person that voices Araminta. So that makes me really happy, and I really want to make a Sumali Montana team. Um, at least a three-person Sumali Montano team because uh, she also does Kiris and I don't want to use Kiris. So I would really love to use her and I can't wait to see how much damage I would do with this ability with my set of defense. It would be insane and I really, really want to get, get through with it. And number one. Same number one as last time. Crimson Armin. Like, how do you not put this as number one on your list? Like, you've got to put Crimson Armin number one on your list. She's just... Super adorable. She's got earrings on. Does she actually... She actually doesn't... Oh, she does have earrings on on this one. Um, spends all her money on earrings. Absolutely adorable. So good for PvP. So good for everything. Uh, I just... 
really, 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 really want her on my team. She's definitely, definitely up there, and I would use her everywhere. Um, and finally, finally, the five-star Moonlights. Okay, five-star Moonlights, number eight. Jumping up from number five last time, it is Arbiter Vildred. So, um, I don't really want him anymore. I've got regular Vildred. I would use him, and I'd be happy about it. But definitely my least wanted unit right now. Um, especially since some others jumped up in terms of uh, Guild War and stuff. And some new ones came in as well. But he's definitely number 8. And again, keep in mind, this is not a who's best. This is who Mango wants. Uh, and number 7 is ML Ken. And honestly, like I feel like I should put ML Ken number 1 just because it will help my guild win more. But I just can't. I just, I don't know, I don't know. He's too unfair, and uh, his design isn't my favorite, and I don't want to be another ML Ken user, you know? Like, I just don't want to be that guy. Obviously, I'd use him everywhere, and I'd be really happy about it. Uh, so next up is Corvus. So I actually think Corvus is in a really good spot right now uh, with Guild Wars. Um, basically unstoppable in Guild Wars offense. Basically... Um, Guaranteed to kill somebody like he's a freaking siege destroyer. That's so insane uh, He's just so good for that and I think he's in a really 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 insane spot right now And I feel like for a lot of G uh, guild war offenses and defenses He's just gonna be so so good and I think people are really underestimating him right now I haven't seen too many really great ones in use, but I, I feel like he's just gonna be fantastic so long and next up is a girl not in the top four. Um, Spectre Tenebria. So Spectre Tenebria is tough. She is just so seductive and so great. Um, on her line, like, how do you even come up with this? A poisonous nightmare seeped in cruelty. Like, that's just the coolest thing ever. But I just can't find as many places to use her, and she's not as good in PvP that I can think of. So I had to put her down a peg, unfortunately. I really, really was sad about it. I sat long and hard, especially since she's got like the Jabril style hair going on back there with the multicolors and everything. That is her hair, right? I think it's her hair. Uh, yeah, that's gotta be her hair. Either way, um, really sad to put her there. And we actually put a dude ahead of Tenebria. So we put Specimen Says in number fourth, uh, just because I think he's bonkers. I think he's honestly absolutely insane with this skill set uh, for Guild Wars. He's going to just, I can't even, I can't even express how much trouble this guy is going to bring in Guild Wars with stuns and um, penetrating defense and auto stuns here. So unbelievably good. And I, I just like, he's so good. He's so very good, and I think anybody who gets him is going to be really happy. Speaking of which, somebody actually summoned two specimen sesses already, which is really funny. And number three, and honestly, the top three are basically tied. Uh, so number three is um, Judge Kisei. We picked Judge Kisei for number three. And the only reason she's not number one is because I already have regular Kisei, and I feel like Kisei's a part of me already. So I don't need Judge Kisei as much in my life but obviously i do and obviously i want her and obviously insane for all things we've been talking about recently so that's why she's there and on to number two ruel of light uh yep i put ruel of light over judge kisei just because i love defensive disruptive style healers the more i look at her the more i get kind of annoyed at her little mouth but as long as I don't look directly at her face, things go okay. I, I just need to lo not look right here. Um, but it's so hard because she's literally staring into my soul right now. Uh, okay, we need to get off the screen pretty soon. Maybe maybe she's down to number four. Um, but she's just so awesome for Guild Wars offense, so awesome for Guild War defense, so awesome for arena defense. Just perfect for helping your guild out. And she's definitely going to be somebody who just crushes your opponent or... Um, helps your, your team crush your opponent. And number one is Meg Chloe. Um, Meg Chloe is literally the cutest thing in the entire world, and I have her on my alt, and I love her to death, and I, I want to use her everywhere, and she's just adorable. And I like this. She breaks anything she touches, but she doesn't care. I, I think it's so awesome. 
Um, her third skill is insane. Uh, five turn cooldown on um, a three turn revive buff, and you also get a burn, which goes twice. Uh, so, so unbelievably good. That said, I don't know how usable she's going to be without Celestine. My alt has Celestine, and she makes her absolutely just enough healing. Like, just enough healing to make it going with Celestine. So, I, I'm not sure how she's going to do without that. Um, but... I'm really, 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 really insanely happy with her. She also has a 35% chance to stun on her first kit, and you also can burn for a second chance at that. Um, she is an Abyss Slaughterer. She's a Raid Slaughterer. She's everything. She's a PvE, um, PvP goddess. She's she's absolutely amazing everywhere. She's great for um, PvP too, and I, I just can't say good enough things about her. Okay, so there's the final listing of my ranking right now. Uh, kind of funny to see Fighter Maya jump from 11th to 2nd. Uh, I cannot wait for that, and I hope I get her soon. If I don't get her soon, I'm going to build regular Maya, and I mean in my like next one or two Moonlight Summons. I'm definitely just going to build regular Maya. So pretty excited to have all this there. That said, I should probably show you my uh, equipment right now, just because it might make more sense to you once I... Um, show you what defense gear I want to put on her. Right now, it's currently on my Kikarat, who is um, right down here. And my Kikarat has these boots here, so 60% defense, 20% effectiveness, 13 health. Overall, insane boots with 9 speed as well. I also have this ring here with uh, tons of crit damage, tons of crit chance, tons of effect resistance. And keep in mind, effect resistance is a really good stat for PvP. Um, so many battles are going to be lost by uh, tons of effect resistance. So keep that in mind. Um, the further into PvP we get, the better that stat gets. We have this uh, neck, which needs to change. This is a pretty bad piece of gear, uh, unfortunately. Basically, just these two right now are the good parts, and I can fill in the rest later. Um, we also just have this immunity set on him here. You cannot get defense percent on weapons, so that is why uh, this is great, because it's got the speed and the health. Uh, we've got this just to fill out the set. And again, defense percent, effectiveness, effect resistance. And finally, the chest here. Adding some crit damage, defense, crit chance, and some speed. And it's not fully upgraded. And the best part is we can even use Noble Oath. Because why the heck not? So yeah, um, that's why I want Fighter Maya. And that's why I might build regular Maya instead of it. Uh, so yeah. That's about it. I know this was a long video. Hopefully you stayed with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.